Total knee replacement. Joint arthritis affects 70 million Americans. The normal progression of the joint space from youth to adulthood to arthritis occurs when there is an injury to the joint and loss of the meniscus cartilage or damage to the articular cartilage, when there is a disease, primary disease called osteoarthritis, or when there is a disease such as inflammatory arthritis. In order to restore and protect the articular cartilage, a number of non-operative treatments are effective at improving the health of the joint. Optimizing the body weight is important to diminish the amount of force on the knee joint, strength training in order to build the muscles around the joints, soft tissue mobilization in order to maintain a full range of motion of each of the joints, gait training in order to diminish abnormal mechanics that increase wear and tear, the use of heel wedges and unloader braces to diminish abnormal force concentration in one part of the joint as well as the use of lubrication and glucosamine, both of which increase lubricity inside of the joints. Glucosamine is an important part of joint health care. By adding glucosamine, you have a natural anti-inflammatory, you have an increase in joint lubrication, you have a stimulation of cartilage repair, and a decrease in negative enzymes that break down articular cartilage, thereby improving joint health and protecting the joint space. The joint is made up of articular cartilage on the bearing of the surface of the femur and tibia and patella, the meniscus cartilage, the shock absorber for the knee. At the Stone Clinic in San Francisco, we regrow and replace the articular cartilage and the meniscus cartilage in order to help people avoid or delay the time in which artificial joint replacement is necessary. However, when severe bone-on-bone -bone conditions exist, we go on to the choice of either partial joint replacement, where we place a metal and plastic cap over a worn-out area of the joint, or total joint replacement, replacing the articular cartilage with a metal cap and a rotating platform knee that permits patients to return to most sports and most activities. The survival rate of these uni and total knee replacements is about 90% at 10 years and about 80% for the total knee at 20 years and 74% for the uni at 20 years. Because these are not perfect scores, we prefer to delay the time in which joint replacement is done for the patient as much as possible as long as we can keep them active in playing sports with biologic replacements first and then move on to artificial replacements when pain or decreased function is getting in the way of their lifestyle. At the Stone Clinic in San Francisco, we have developed expertise in preserving joints and replacing them biologically first and subsequently replacing them artificially when necessary in order to keep patients playing sports, keep them active, and keep them enjoying their lifestyle. Please contact Stone Clinic at stoneclinic.com for more information about each of these procedures.